All right, so if you want to work up a sweat, I understand, Carrie, you have uh, in the forecast some pretty warm weather ahead. Yes, coming in this weekend, I mean, it's kind of unreal to see this early in spring. We just started spring on Saturday, but we'll talk about that in just a bit. Let's get a live look outside in Walnut Creek. We're seeing some clouds moving by, and it's not as clear as it was yesterday, but it will be as warm, so make some plans to get out there and go to the park. We're taking a look at our temperature trend in Vallejo, and it's going to be in the upper 50s in the next hour, but look at that warm-up, and we'll reach into the mid-60s again today, a mix of sun and clouds and as a lot of us are spending more time outside heads up that we are still seeing a moderate amount of tree pollen in the air it's cedar ash juniper and pine right now that's really blooming and putting a lot of that pollen out there in the air mold is fairly low so that's some good news and that's most likely because we haven't seen a lot of rain so as our dry weather continues our temperatures today reach into the upper 60s 68 degrees will be the high in martinez as well as oakland and in palo alto so expect a high of 66 degrees. San Francisco will reach 64 and 65 today in Clear Lake. Now, as we go through this forecast, we have seen that our dry weather continues, but there will be some changes here with the wind forecast. Going into today, still really gusty along the coastline. Wind speeds in San Francisco close to 40 miles per hour. We've had these high wind gusts the past couple of days, and it will continue into tomorrow, but a lot more of the inland areas will start to see those high winds as well in some of our hills and mountains we could see those gusts well over 40 miles per hour and that will start it to reach its peak as we go into tomorrow evening as well as Wednesday. It's going to be very windy during this time frame. In fact, we could see in spots like Napa, 40 mile per hour winds. And usually we would start to eye this closely for the potential of a fire danger. But we've had enough rain recently to where the vegetation is not all the way dried out. But that will dry out the vegetation quite a bit. And as high pressure moves in for the weekend, our temperatures will be going up. So this weekend's forecast is looking more spring-like and also very dry. So then we keep an eye on our rainfall deficits in Santa Rosa. We've measured over 12 inches of rain, but we're still lacking 18 inches to catch up to normal. And we're seeing these huge deficits across the Bay Area with the lack of rainfall in the forecast. That's something we'll be watching as our temperatures still stay fairly mild throughout the week with some 60s and low 70s. But look at the weekend, upper 70s headed our way as it will definitely feel like spring, maybe even a little bit of a touch of summer for some of us, Chris.